and welcome to this 30 minute stretch for your quads and hamstrings. We're gonna begin in what's known as Varasana in yoga, hero's pose. If you find that this puts a little bit too much pressure on the top of your foot, you can always press down onto the tops of your toes and just lift slightly up, slip a pillow underneath and then sit down. You'll notice there'll be less pressure if you do so. Otherwise, if you feel comfortable in this position, you're going to remain as you are. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And a long sigh out your mouth. Now from here, we're going to take our knees and draw them out to the edge of the mat. Now, bring your heels away from each other so your buttocks can fall between your feet. You're gonna take your fingers and roll back towards the heels of your hands. Now, as you do this, bring your shoulder blades in towards each other, lift the hips up, and then allow the buttocks to guide a little further down. Now, this already may feel like enough for you. If your knees are lifting away from the mat, you're going to instead guide yourself up, lift your buttocks away from your heels, bring your shoulder blades towards each other, and breathe here. If, however, though, you feel comfortable with your feet and your buttocks touching, you can guide yourself a little further down. Now, you could be on your forearms, keep your hips drawn up, or you may find that you can come to your elbows and scoot your elbows a little further forward and start to come down onto your back. Now, once you come onto your back, you can either place your hands over top of your belly, or you can interlace your fingers behind your head and let your head rest in your palms. Continue to draw your hips upwards and your knees downwards towards the mat in order to gauge the quads and with the quads engaged to stretch them. And breathe in here for eight deep, full breaths. You want to ensure there's no pinching sensation in the knees or in the low back. If you find that that is happening, guide yourself up to a position where you start to notice that you ease out of that discomfort. Once you come to your eighth breath, Take your hands beside you. If you're all the way down, use your elbows initially, then your palms and press yourself up. Bring your knees in towards each other. Bring your hands onto your mat. Take your right leg back and just rock forward and back. Bring your knee down, same thing other side, just rocking forward and back. Now though, once you bring your left knee down, bring your right leg back and now guide your right heel towards your mat. Getting a nice stretch here for your right calf. And breathe in here for eight breaths. And continue to guide the heel a little closer towards your mat. And deepening the stretch with each exhale. And once you come to your eighth breath, use your inhale to guide yourself forward, bring your knee down, and then simply do the other side. So take now the left leg, begin to guide your heel towards the mat, breathing here.
And again, when you come to your eighth breath, just guide yourself forward, bring your knee down. Now from here, you're gonna step your right foot forward. Once you step your right foot forward, interlace your fingers just below your right knee, lift your left knee, guide it slightly back. Toes can be tucked or untucked. And now start to bring your knee slightly forward past your ankle and lift your chest. Now this is for your hip flexor. So breathing here for eight breaths. As you allow the knee to draw further past the ankle and the left quad to come closer to your mat, you're gonna also feel a very deep stretch for your quad. And two more breaths here. Good, now pull your hip back. Once you pull your hip back, tuck your left toes, keep your left hip and your knee in one line, and begin to walk your right foot a little further away from you. Now you're gonna lift the sole of your foot away from the floor and begin to fold at the hip crease. You can either keep your knee bent, especially if your hamstrings are particularly tight, or you can start to fold at the hip crease, bring your hands down, Bring your foot a little further, straighten the leg and breathe here. And you can just remain on your fingertips, let your shoulders relax down. And again, eight breaths. With each inhale, think length, and with the exhale, depth. The next inhale, length, the next exhale, depth. And two more breaths here. Good. Now from here, take your right hand to the inside. So if your knee was slightly bent and instead you had your hands at your knee, just walk your right foot over to the right side of your mat. Allow your knee to fall out to the side. And now you're gonna come onto either your fingertips or your palms, take your left knee, draw it slightly back and then pull forward so that you don't have direct weight or pressure on your kneecap. Now from here, you're gonna roll your right shoulder back, bend your left knee and take your hand, you're welcome to use a strap and start to guide your heel towards your buttock. Now, if you find that you're comfortable here, you can instead come down onto your forearm Again, roll the shoulder, take your hand to your foot and guide your heel towards your buttock and breathe in here. Eight breaths. And once more, the closer your quad moves towards the mat, the deeper the stretch will be. Last two breaths. Good, now release your foot, bring your hand and start to now walk your foot forward. Now from here, you're gonna untuck your toes and walk your hands back. Now as you walk your hands back, you can either have your foot with your heel right by your side body at your hip, or if you feel more comfortable, you can bring your foot to the inside of your leg and fold at the hip crease and draw forward from the heart. If you have very tight hamstrings, bend your knee a lot and lead again from the heart folding here, rather than rounding the back to get to the toes. In this way, we bring the stretch into the back rather than the hamstrings. So think this way. And then if you find again that you're comfortable with your hands and your foot, then you can start to press out through the heel, having the leg straight, folding at the hip crease and maintaining length in the spine. And again, breathing here for eight breaths.
and relax with each exhale. You'll find that the more you relax with the breath and the exhale, the deeper the body can go into the stretch. And use your inhale to create more space and more length. And last two breaths here. So just keep drawing back at the hip crease. Okay, next inhale, you're going to guide yourself gently up. And then bring your leg out. And we're just going to simply do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll do what we just did on the right, on the left. So again, either having your foot inside or bringing your heel beside you on the outside. You'll know which feels more comfortable. And if you have any knee issues, definitely take this position instead. So drawing again at the hip crease, starting to fold, maybe taking your hands to your foot, drawing forward with the heart. Use your inhale to find the length and the exhale for the depth. And six more breaths here. And when you come to your eighth breath, slowly bring yourself up. You're going to cross your ankles. And once you cross your ankles, just roll yourself back forward onto your hands and knees. Now step your left foot forward. And again, you can just draw your right knee slightly back, toes tucked or untucked, taking your hands above your left knee, interlacing the fingers. And then as you guide the knee forward, letting the quad draw down and lifting the heart up. And four more breaths. And last two. Good. Now again, just pull the hip back. Once you pull the hip back, bring your fingertips down. See how that feels for you. Maybe you walk your foot a little further away and then bring the foot up away from your mat. Maybe you find that you could walk your foot a little further. Just ensure that you have still your hip and your knee from your right leg in one line. Once more, toes tucked or untucked, whichever you prefer. And then using the inhale for the length and the exhale to soften into it. And breathing here, eight breaths. And last two. Good. Now from here, again, just come up onto your fingertips. Pull your heel towards you. Bend your knee. Walk your left foot over to the left side of your mat. Let your knee fall out to the side. Now from this position, you can walk your hands a little further. Take again your knee back. Pull forward so you're not directly on your kneecap. And then rotating the left shoulder and bringing the hand to the foot and the heel towards the buttock. If you feel that you can go a little further, come down onto your forearm and instead be on your forearm as you roll your left shoulder back, bringing your heel towards your buttock.
Last breath. Okay, now release your foot, bring your hand down. And this time you're gonna lift your knee and just pull it forward. Have your toes tucked, bring your weight back so that you can now take your left foot and step it back. Now you're gonna have both of your toes tucked, just walk your hands towards your knees and rock from side to side. And this is a wonderful way to give your toes a little bit of a stretch. You now come back onto your hands and knees, take the top of your feet, just gently hit the top of your feet onto your mat. And now you're gonna bring your right knee up towards your wrist, your left knee up towards your wrist, and now pull your heels away from you, similar to what you did at the very beginning. But this time, you're gonna let your buttocks actually rest onto the mat rather than into your feet. Keep your knees together. The knees may wanna move away from each other, so have the intention of pulling in towards the midline of your body. And then from here, you're gonna roll again slightly back. So maybe it's just onto the heels of the hands, keeping a bend in the elbows. Maybe you feel comfortable going a little further down and breathing here. If you feel comfortable going all the way down, you're gonna do the same thing. Bring your elbows forward and slowly make your way down. Now, as you make your way down, you can again take your hands, bring them behind your head, keep your knees drawn down towards your mat, lift your hips upwards towards the ceiling and breathe here. And just relax into it again. If there's any pinching sensation or discomfort, just come out. There's no need to force the body into positions that it's not ready to go into. When you're stretching, just go slowly, gradually, you know, ease into deeper stretches each time you come back to the practice. Good, and one more breath here. And now you're gonna do the same. So just take your hands to your feet use your elbows to help assist you and then once you come up now again come forward take your right leg back and just rock forward and back and then bring your knee down and the same thing rock forward and back good now you're going to cross your ankles and roll back now once you roll back bring your right leg out to the side just rotate your torso towards your foot and start to fold in. Again, you can have a bend in your knee if that's preferable for you. If you'd like to add a twist, just start to rotate the torso slightly over to the right and use your left hand to the edge of your foot, bend your elbow and breathe here. Wonderful. Next inhale, you're going to come back up and it'll just be the same thing on the other side. So taking now the opposite leg, bringing your foot in. And again, you can either face your foot or a slight rotation. Take your hand to the edge of your foot, bend your elbow and bring your torso closer towards your thigh. Breathing here. And next inhale, again, is going to guide you slowly up. Once you come back to center, bring your right foot onto your mat, bring your left foot onto your mat. If you need a little bit of additional space behind you, scoot yourself up and then slowly make your way down onto your back. Right ankle is going to come below your left knee. Draw your knee in towards your chest, interlace your fingers and guide your thigh towards you, bringing your right knee away from you using your right elbow to assist in guiding the knee away. And breathing now here into the stretch for your outer left right hip, 
and just let yourself relax. You'll feel this into your glutes as well. Good, now release. Let both of your knees fall over to the right. Now, as you let your knees fall over to the right, try to guide your left heel towards your buttock so that your left knee and your left hip are in one line and you're using your right ankle to assist in guiding the left knee closer towards the floor. Bringing your hands either over top of your belly or once more, you can interlace your fingers and let your head rest in your palm. Breathe into the sensation. Let yourself soften. When you start to notice that tension is building, in particular in your jaw, in areas of the body that feel tight, try to keep the jaw nice and loose and relaxed. Good, now when you come to your eight, you're going to just slowly walk your foot away as you bring your knee up so you don't tweak your knee. And then once you bring your foot down, just allow your knees to fall from one side to the other. And then come back to center and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So taking the opposite ankle, left ankle below the right knee, guide the right thigh towards you, interlace your fingers behind your right thigh, and as you guide your thigh towards you, use your left elbow to gently move your left knee away from your torso and breathe in here. Good, now when you come to your eighth breath, release. And again, you're gonna let both of your knees now fall to the side, so to the left, bringing your right heel towards your buttock. And as you do so, letting the knee fall towards the floor and drawing the hips upwards and breathing here. Now, when you come to your eighth one, again, just walk your foot away. Bring the left foot down. Let the knees fall from one side to the other. And then keeping the left foot down on the mat, draw your right knee in towards your chest. Just hug your knee in towards you first. And then interlace your fingers behind your right thigh and start to press your heel up. Now imagine that you're pushing up towards your ceiling, so rather than letting the foot be loose, have the leg engage and start to walk your hands a little further up your leg and bringing your thigh towards your chest. Good, now just bend the knee, release. Same thing other side. So just taking the opposite, bring your knee in towards your chest, hug in tight. And then press the heel up. Start to again, just walk your hands up your leg and breathe in here.
Good. Now again, when you come to your eighth breath, just release, bring your foot down. Now bring both of your knees in towards your chest and hug it as tight as you can. Take your hands behind your legs, rock yourself up, lift and lengthen through the spine, bring your shoulders up towards your ears, take a deep inhale through your nose, a long exhale out your mouth. Thank you so much for joining me for this quad and hamstring stretch class. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you again.